Everyone, please, do you know Arnold Toynbee? If I may say, our most distinguished historian. Arnold, this is Gertrude Bell. A great pleasure. Mr. Toynbee. And my friend, Henry Jones. Pleasure to meet you, sir. How do you do? Well, Arnold, please. You see, Arnold's the man who really knows what's going on here. I wouldn't say that. He's part of the official British delegation, unlike people like me. I've been out trying to catch sight of the German delegation. Oh, really? They're due in tonight. Nobody's seen them. They'll be trying to sneak in the back way. It's true. The feeling against them is frightening. I read the newspapers. I've seen the demonstrations as well, and my fear is that we do not have statesmen with enough courage to resist the public demands for revenge. I don't know. I've been watching our president. No, really, he's a, he's a fine man. He's a fine man obsessed with forming his absurd League of Nations. And meanwhile, he's giving way to every bloodthirsty demand. He's completely outwitted. Clemenceau, a dinosaur, baying for blood. Lloyd George, a, a politician with no vision or morality at all. There's just been a war. The worst war in history. People have fought and died. You can't just expect that they'll turn around and forgive. You can't just wipe your enemy out. Years ago, Rome could just wipe Carthage out, but now the world has changed. Everything's connected. What has happened will happen again, for better or worse. History now moves in a spiral. These men are trying to force Germany down, but it cannot be done without terrible tragedy. Push Germany down and you'll pay a price. And one day it will once more rise to the top. But this lot are behaving like men with no memories. And those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat it.